welcome to Coxie's Picks. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to Coxie's Picks and today is another Oscar Delta product. Uh, this is called the Rust Key. Uh, and as you can see, and if you're familiar with handcuffs, you'll notice that it is a Russian or Alpha Czechoslovakian style key blading format. Uh, in a much smaller shape. So if I reveal it, we got the BRS1, BRS2, and the Alpha. Now the Alpha is a lot thinner than the Russian ones, but the Russian keys and the cuffs are a lot clunkier. So I'll just pop that up there. Um, so I suppose we better do BRS1 first. Let's start off with the original clunky Russian ones, which is this key. And the double lock is actioned from the rear of the cuff this time. So it goes in, and the double lock is set. And then you put the large single blade in, and then it's a heavy double lock to remove, and then the single lock is turned the other way. So let's set the double lock. Let's see if the rust key can fare nicely. So stand by. Now the tool is a lot thinner, and as you can see from the Russian divots in it, it's not the world's greatest of engineering piece. That's stiff as bits, and it feels locked up. So I'm just going to give it a little gentle assist, but I don't want to break the tool, so we're going to be ever so careful. Okay. That required a lot more force than I was anticipating. Just check the tool is intact. Tool is intact. So yeah, and then the single lock that side. Absolutely breezed to the single lock. Oh, but it didn't open it. So let's try again. Okay. It's turning okay, but it's ah there we go. Right, it's just clipping on and off the uh, on the pull. So yeah, it does do the BRS one. So let's get the BRS two, which are these ones. And the BRS two has got a split prong, and that's because it's got warding down the inside. But the, one of the cool things about this is the cuff position changed. Uh, now I don't know who copied who, whether the Russians copied uh, the checks with the Alpha, but. You'll see in a second they operate identically. So that's the double lock. And then we're going to turn the key this angle to remove the double lock. And it is a clunky mechanism. There we go. Over it goes. And then the key goes the opposite direction to release the single lock. Now one of the cool things on these cuffs is it can be actioned from both sides. So it's um, you can put the key in either way, which if you're trying to escape out of it, means that you've always got access to a key frontage. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and set, we've got the double lock set, so we're going to try and remove it. And again, very clunky, have to put a fair old bit of force on it. Let's just see if the tool is intact, it is. So we'll now go for the single lock, single lock side, absolutely breeze through. So the single lock requires very minimal effort, but the double lock does. Let's get the alphas out, these are my favourite. Um, what we've got here is a set of hinged, no matter, we're worried about the locking mechanism. So we get our key, and as before, it's from this side. Once you want to get the double lock off, you're going to put the key in, and then it will just turn like this, and it glides off, and then the single lock is the opposite direction. So let's set this up, there we go. Will it operate? Absolutely minimum effort, and it's off. And then the single lock, just like that. So there we go. The rust key against the BRS1, BRS2 and the alphas, um, it, it works. No denying it. But which one does it work best on? The alphas. If you were doing it on the other cuffs, I would suggest you to uh, um, be very careful in case you break the tool. Would I recommend buying it? If you don't have an alpha key, then yes, that was actually really smooth. And the reason why I say if you don't have an alpha key is because if you get the cheap BRS2 keys and you try putting it in as an alpha key, you'll notice it doesn't fit. Now you could file this down, however, you saw how minimum effort it is just to put that in and turn it. So this could do you in a pinch until you can get an original key like this one. So there we are. That is the Rush key from Oscar Delta. Um, and as you can see, it is barely the size of your thumb. So yeah. I'm sure that'll be proved quite useful for some future escapes. But there we are. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.